Uh, almost 70% of the rebel-held territory in the Syrian city of Aleppo has now been liberated by government forces. This is according to Russia's defence ministry. Syrian government forces have retaken 15 districts from the militants just on Wednesday alone. More than 1,000 civilians have been evacuated from the eastern part of the city and fierce battles are now raging in Aleppo's historic old city. RT correspondent Lizzie Phelan and her crew were the first news team to gain access to the newly liberated areas they sent back this report. This is government-held West Aleppo. Until last night, this was rebel-held Aleppo. Since this morning, as the people from the city have been receiving the news that new areas have come under the control of the Syrian army in old Aleppo, they've been arriving here. Some of them haven't seen their relatives living on that side for over four years. There's obviously a lot of emotion here. From here, you can see how close uh, people living in government territory were to people living in rebel territory. Until last night, this building was under the control of the opposition and was filled with rebel snipers. This building used to be used before the war to make bread, but rebels for the last four years have been using it to make and store weapons. In this room, a row of unused mortars lined up. Out here, two of the launchers that would be used to fire those mortars, the army telling us, on the West Aleppo neighbourhoods of Suleimaniya and Midan. And behind iron pipes scattered everywhere that rebel fighters were using to produce these launchers. There's destruction everywhere. Many of these buildings still have in them unused gas cylinders, unused mortars and rockets. There's uh, launchers for those missiles scattered in the street. This area now back under the control of pro-government forces, but they still have further to go. Just beyond that intersection, there's still opposition fighters there. Still the buildings are filled with snipers. The danger is not yet over. These streets are lined with these launchers. The army telling us over there there's another weapons-making factory, but we're staying on this side of the road because they're worried that some of those buildings over there are booby traps and they haven't yet been cleared. Uh, by Syrian army engineers. This is the Ayur area, only retaken just last night by pro-government forces. It's still extremely dangerous. There's snipers uh, on the other side. These buses were put here by rebel forces as a barricade, separating their territory from government-held territory. Injured uh, civilians being evacuated now from the old city. It's absolutely chaos here. We're leaving now because the elite unit from the Syrian army, the Tiger forces, are arriving to secure this front line and continue the advance into the old city. Meanwhile, a Russian colonel has died after being critically injured by extremist shelling in Aleppo. Colonel Ruslan Galitsky has been serving as a military advisor. He was injured when shelling hit a residential district in the west of the city. He later died from his wounds in hospital. The deadly attack came on the same day that militants had shelled a Russian mobile hospital, killing two female paramedics. A doctor was also seriously injured. He was later airlifted to, ho to Moscow for hospital treatment. The bombing of the facility, which had been set up to help shelling victims, has been condemned by the UN.